um, flying solo today. Um, happy 4th of July to those that celebrate it. I personally don't. It's a native thing. Um, and if you don't know why that is, sit down and really read the Declaration of Independence and what it says about those of Native American Indian heritage. And you will understand why I've got issues with it. But if you celebrate it, uh, great. Happy 4th to you. Um, hope y'all are eating lots of good barbecue at least. Um, that part of it I do like. Um, I decided not to grill today even though I wanted to. But um, I already had a batch of beef maple sausage burgers that I made last weekend. Finished those up and not ready to make another batch yet. <clears throat> but they are good. I, I made um, Swiss and mushroom teriyaki beef and maple sausage burgers with caramel caramelized onions. Amazing. I, just, I love them so much. They're so good. It's my own little recipe I follow with that. But today um, I am making me and Pat put some baked chicken in the oven. Um, he gets the plain, obviously, and I get the um, orange orange teriyaki chicken. So um, I am winging this for with um, and whatever sides I make, probably broccoli and green beans or corn. We shall see. I don't know. Um, I didn't eat yesterday because um, I didn't have anything that wasn't frozen. I didn't feel like cooking yesterday because I had to take Padfoot back to the vet and it was as a walk-in and so we spent there, spent pretty much the entire day there. Um, that's why I did not do Tag Tuesday. I mean Tag Tuesday, Lord. Shout out Sunday. <laughs> um, forgive me, it is one of them days. Um, because we didn't get home until like 4.30, 4, something like that. And by then, I was exhausted, he was exhausted, um, and I was doubly exhausted because I hadn't slept for two nights, worrying about him, thinking, you know, if this dog does not improve, I'm going to have to put him to sleep because he's having some breathing issues. But, got him checked out, like we... Everything still seems to be okay. I think part of it's mental, what's going on. Um, he does have some itchy problems on his side. Um, and that he's been digging at for months and he doesn't have fleas, but we're giving him, giving him a flea prevention treatment anyway. Um, just in case, you know, he does pick up a couple here or there. You know, this will take care of it. But... He does have sensitive skin issue and they think this heavy breathing on top of the with the warm weather is what's making making the breathing issues and it, it's partly um, frustration, irritation from all the digging he's doing in his red page, you know. And but because of the seizure and the digging at the rib cage on both sides, that's the only place he's itching. And um, the heavy breathing, you know. I'm going to panic and first thing I'm going to think is the dog's got lung cancer. Um, and he also has a little lump under skin on the side and he's got a lump in his neck under the skin as well that's about that big. Um, so you know I'm just taking all these factors and, and stressing out the dog has cancer. I mean I just lost Mahoney to brain cancer so you know obviously to me, I'm exercising a rational fan panic and fear about worrying about my dog having cancer. So, but the vet doesn't think it's anything big. Uh, this week, I'm getting him a prescription for steroids, um, which will help with the itching. I need some. My face is so itchy because of the allergies. Um, that's the most I think. You know. When, I know when my allergies flare up, the dog's allergies would flare up too. 
um, especially Mahoney's, but Padfoot gets it sometimes as well. So, um, I'm hoping between the Benadryl, the steroids, the flea pill, and just keeping his sides as less irritated as possible will help him out, um, calm down his breathing. And because he's like breathing so hard, you'd think the dog had been sitting in 110 degree weather, just laying out in the sun for like 24 hours. Um, but he has it, and my, my house does get a little warm because I need the air ducts clean, but I just don't have $300 to do that, to drop, you know, all at once. So, plus my bedroom, it, the way the sun rises that way and sets on this side of the house, it shines um, from midday or actually morning to evening. We get the the sun the most on this side of the house so my bedroom gets really hot and stuffy well not really hot but a little stuffy a little warm um i do have a ceiling fan going i have a floor fan going so if you hear any noise that's what that is so um i'm sure that makes it you know a little warm for him too and the, the vet warm once he gets on the steroids because it does make you have hot flashes that his heavy breathing is probably going to get a lot worse before it gets better. So, um, but as long as he's, he's okay, um, I'm kind of okay. Um, but he's kind of been confined. He's vet orders has confined him back to the crate for the majority of the time, um, and probably at night because he's just so antsy here on the bed and isn't sleeping well. So, he may have to spend another week or two in the crate while he's still in recovery. He's still not doing very well. So, as long as he gets better, I think I'll be a little better mentally. But, we shall see. But, for now, he looks okay. Anyway, that is all that's going on with us. Um, I have a lot of um, things that have come to post that aren't subscription box related. And I'm trying to break them down. Um, instead of one huge long video, I want to do several small ones. Um, like yes, or day before yesterday, I did the cavity colors. Today, I'm going to do a post call video with some Emily the Strange items I got. And then um, later this week, I'll do a post call, some of the other things I've gotten. But since I've gotten so many, so many Emily the Strange items over the last three weeks, I want to um, just showcase those today. And I think I still have a couple other items um, from Emily the Strange coming, but I don't know when that will be. So, And I think I am missing one item, but I can't remember. So... I will just include it in a future post call video if I find it. Maybe I have it all. I don't know. But anyway, let's get started. Um, this first thing, and there are six of them, and there's one that's already open, but these are little, um, And because of the light flashing, I can't read. But they are little uh, lip balms. And this one is, I think, the blackberry. There were two blackberries, three cherries, and a raspberry. And each flavor has a different kitty. So those are all those. There are six of those. They're all still sealed except the one I opened to taste. Because these are kind of old, but they're, they've been sealed up. So they're in excellent condition and still taste yummy. 
the next thing. Let's start with the smallest book first. I got this um, Emily's Little Black Book. It's Don't Call Emily. She'll call you. Um, it is a little address book. Which, yeah, we don't typically need those anymore. But it was really, really cool. That page was Black Sabbath. Um, but it was really cool. And I got it for a bargain. We got artwork in there. And in the back, we got a three sticker sheets. Uh, Emily the Strange stickers. I absolutely love this. It's freaking adorable. I love Emily the Strange. I used to be into her a long time ago, and then, you know, kind of didn't pay attention to her anymore. But I found um, a little stash tin that my ex had given me that I think he had gotten from a sister or a friend or somebody. And it had an Emily the Strange sticker inside. No, I'm wrong. It was a friend of mine who, actually I just found out recently, he passed away last year. But that's where it came from. I'm pretty sure. Well, my memory's a little fuzzy, so who knows. But anyway, that, seeing that sticker got me back into Emily the Strange. And anyway, so, we've got this um, first book, Emily the Strange, Beware. There's about two or three more of these small books that I want to get. I've gotten two, and I'm thinking I've gotten a third. But like I said, this is the one I'm thinking that I'm missing somewhere in the house. I'm not sure, but... Um, I'm trying to get the set of these little square books. And it's just, it reads kind of like a kid's book. Like, um, Emily Doesn't Change. She's Always Strange. Um, so, it's just, you know... Reads kind of like a kid's book. It has different art and stuff in it. Really, really cool little book. The next one I got is Emily's Book of Strange. I got all these little symbols in here. I don't know if you can see that. The glare. Kind of like the other one. Um, different pages of awesome art. I love Emily. She's so awesome. She's my she's my other love next to Wednesday Adams. Wednesday Adams gets top ranking. Emily the Strange comes in a very close second. So I got two of these little square books, and I think there's two or three more that I need to get. The next thing I got, uh, Emily the Strange, The Lost Days, a novel. It's really, really awesome. This just came the other day. And this one is an actual book. But just have... Uh, some really awesome pictures and like journal writing. I haven't started reading it yet, but I can't wait. So I love this. The next thing I got is Emily the Strange, Lost, Dark, and Bored, Volume One, and it's all been to hell. But um, it is a Graphic novel from uh, Dark Horse Comics, which I absolutely love that company, and um, most of it is in black and white. So very awesome artwork, but we do have some color. Yep, and then we got some more 
color throughout and then there's some color at the end so and I started reading this but have not finished yet just been so wrapped up doing a little pad foot so I all those okay we got two more items and I saved the big ones for last this is, and I got this brand new, still sealed, Emily the Strange Get Lost Stamps of Disapproval. And it is a stamp kit. It's got a little magnet closing bottom. You open up, see the kitties. And then uh, down here we got black and red stamp pads. And we got a uh, Five stamps down here, three up there, and we've got these really, really awesome little note cards with envelopes. And I can't wait to actually send somebody a letter with this. My two favorite stamps in here, though, are the Emily the Strange. And of course, the paw prints. Paw prints on my heart. So I got that cool little stamp kit. And then the last thing. Now the person that listed this item on eBay was a liar. Um, they said it was brand new, mint, never played. Um, but the, yet the board um, did have a slight, very slight, um, two inch crease on the board, um, and you'll see what I mean when I open it, uh, however, it did not come as described, it was opened, it was used, um, and the box itself was, uh, just crushed and bent and creased all over the place, this, the board inside, um, did have a two inch crease on it, but it was far from slight and they failed to mention on the other side of the board There's a crease about that big that goes from one side Or the edge of the board halfway into the board um, And there's also a graphic novel in here, which was also not in new condition at all But anyway, it is the Emily the Strange Odd I See Talking Board And when you open up the box, see that that right there is actually the plain shit. It's kind of like a little Ouija board. Um, but you can see this had been opened and it's dirty inside. It had, I don't know if it was dog hair or cat hair, but it wasn't for my dogs. Um, so it obviously had been used, and as you can see, the box was all crushed to hell. Inside, this is what we see. We see the board. We see the box is trashed. And here's the board. And there's the slight crease there, but as we see over here, there's a crease from there to there. So, yeah. That, liars on eBay piss me off to no end. So, and here is the limited edition special Odd I See Emily Strange graphic novel. You can only get this inside this box. I haven't even looked at it yet, but like the other one, it's black and white with a splash of other colors, purple it looks like. And then that's what the inside of the box looks like. Um, so I contacted them on eBay and sent photos because they, as you can see, 
the shipping box is in perfect condition. Um, not one bend or crease on it. So I contact, contacted the seller um, with photos and had wanted to send it back and get a refund and they told me no. And I'm like, well, that's fine. I can just contact eBay and let them know that it was a deceptive sale because their message, it wasn't just no, we don't do returns. It was no, and they were a complete, total a-hole about it. Um, they were very ugly and nasty. They tried to call me a liar. Um, and I told them, I said, look, I have no reason to lie about this. I wanted, I wanted this new for my own collection. Um, and because I am an inbox collector and I care about conditions and things, if I had wanted this, I wasn't going to take it and damage it on purpose when I got it if I'm going to have it for my own collection. So I was just really upset about that. So I said, um, I will con contact eBay. And um, so I ended up contacting eBay and I left the person negative feedback. And they flipped out demanding that um, I change the feedback. And I said, absolutely not. Um, and then they, then they finally broke down and said, okay, uh, we'll give you a refund, but just keep the board. We don't want back a damaged item again, like I did or something. But anyway, I got a free $30 Emily the Strange Odd IC talking board. Um, so I will be looking for another one that's in better condition. So... But at least I, I still have it, and um, it's just cool to look at, and I'm excited to read the, the graphic novel at least, so it wasn't a complete wash, but I love it. So that is my post call featuring Emily the Strain. Uh, tomorrow is Tag Tuesday, I'm going to try to wrap up the Harry Potter tag. For, uh, Tag Tuesday, and I think I've got, um, my comic bento coming in, so I, I'm hoping I do an unboxing for that as well. We shall see, and like I said, I've got more post call to give you guys this week, but other than that, that is it for me, because, where's my phone? Check this timer. Well, my new wallpaper. Halfwood is Jane Cobb from Firefly. He's so cute. Um, yeah, uh, my chicken will, well, I'm going to have to check my chicken in 24 minutes. Uh, make sure it's cooking through because it was partially frozen. Um, I didn't have like three more hours for it to finish thawing the rest of the way out, so. But, I have to check my chicken soon. I'm just trying to chill and get chilled from this horrid hot land of weather but that is it for me Hatfoot says hey he misses you guys and he's sending his puppy loving kisses and for me big love and kisses but be sure to like comment and subscribe remember my uh 500 subscriber giveaway is still going on Please share uh, that video. Um, help me raise my subscriber. The sooner we can hit 500, the sooner that I can draw the names of the winners for the giveaway. So, but that's it for me. Peace.